Hello and welcome to Favourite Rugby on Favourite Sport for today's England press conference reaction. Uh, I thought it would be very interesting to uh, dive into a little bit of uh, the England camp and uh, do a bit of a review on well, on their words, uh, on what kind of went wrong, I suppose, against Samoa when they really had to leave it very late to win and and just what they need to do to try and beat Fiji this weekend, get themselves to, into a, a World Cup semi-final and see how far. I mean, it's it's interesting how... Bad and very common as England side have been, according to a lot of people, and they haven't been great. And yet, in a World Cup quarterfinal against Fiji, who are tier two nations, so they'll go into the match as favourites and they win, and all of a sudden they, they find themselves in a World Cup semi final, which is not a bad result for a poor England side, in very common. But obviously, the draw has definitely favoured them. But they've had moments, I think, you know, where they should have shown a little bit of why they are such a good, I think, the, the Samoan or the Fijian coach nailed on the head. They're a good tournament team. You know, it's a side that, regardless of what's happening around them, you know, before tournaments, they got into into a tournament. They can often sort of get themselves into gear and kind of get themselves, you know, right to be competitive. And we don't know if this is the case that's happening right now, or if it's just, you know, maybe they were just in the bad draw. We'll find out this weekend against Fiji, and we'll find out next weekend very much if they maybe make it to the semi-finals. But uh, yeah, before I go through some of the quotes and what's been said, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. So uh, we had some uh, quotes from uh, J- hooker Jamie George, as well as winger Elliot Daly, and uh, this England scrum coach, Tom Harrison. That scrum battle's been an interesting one this weekend. Uh, the Fijians are a pretty good pack, big pack, and I think that it's a very exciting back, but obviously, you know, the platform was laid on the front. Um, so first of all, in terms of an injury update, everyone is fit. Uh, they will ask questions about Owen Farrell, who's got some strapping on his knee, but he um, has confirmed that everyone is fit. This is Tom Harrison. Um, it was also a bit about on uh, about Joe Mara, who said that he's been he's brilliant for the group on and off the pitch. He brings a lot of energy around the team room when he's on it. He says that big players step up on big occasions. We've got some very experienced players in our group who will step up and step forward again this weekend. Joe's one of those players who's been in and around England for a very long time, and he's come in well prepared for the challenges that lie ahead. Uh, this is the big one, obviously, the Fijian scrum, saying that he says if you look at how they've developed their game. Uh, around their set piece, they've managed to reduce the amount of penalties that they give away. They are big humans being to rely on that and try to overpower you there. So I think that it's a very important point in terms of reducing the amount of penalties. It's one thing being a big pack and having big forwards, but if you're scrumming illegally, if you're scrummaging techniques not good enough and you're just seeing penalties, it's pointless. Even if you don't dominate scrums, you know, dominate opposition necessarily and you're driving them back, ma- making sure that they're not getting the dominance from you is still a pretty big step. You know, make sure you're not giving away penalties that you're competitive Time scrum time is a pretty big um, aspect of the game. Uh, in terms of Jamie George, he was he actually played a full eighty by the way last weekend. Was not uh, uh, was not uh, replaced, and apparently that was more for his leadership rather than a lack of faith in Theo Dan. I think it's a bit of both. I think you know if Luke Cowan Dickey obviously was around and available and playing, Jamie George wouldn't play eighty minutes. So yeah, whilst they try to sort of say it wasn't because of Theo Dan, if a different player is in the position, I don't think Jamie George would play eighty minutes. Uh, but yeah, in terms of the pressure management this weekend. Um, uh, he said that um, he says that the pressure manifests manifests itself from the top down. He says a lot of players have been there and done that, and done that on the big stage. Some players have experience of World Cup finals and that stages of World Cup. Some players, this is their fourth uh, World Cup. I think we have a great group of senior players who are very open and honest with the younger players that it could be intimidating for. This is why we are here. We want to play the big uh, on the biggest stages. The quarterfinal of the World Cup is exactly where we want to be. And next week, we want to be in the semifinal and so on. It's exciting times, and the more experienced players probably need to draw on these experiences. Uh, in terms of the preparation, uh, he said that, uh, I think you can't shy away from the fact that this is probably one of the biggest games we're going to play. I don't think we should shy away from the emotion that comes with that. I think early on in my career in particular, I try to feel a certain way or try to be perceived to be feeling a certain way or trying to shy away from emotions. I don't see why you need to do that. We've got space to speak to people. We have a really open group. If people are nervous, that's fine. If people are excited, that's fine. But the most important thing for us is to be focusing on each week. It's something we have done well since we have been in France, particularly there are a lot of clear things we have got to go after in the week. Try and know our opposition as much as we possibly can and be really clear about what we're going to do through, um, in that week. Focusing on the, uh, rather than the enormity of the occasion. I think that's a very good point, actually, to be honest. It's sort of really take it week by week especially when you're a team that's not necessarily tipped to go very far in the tournament. You know, I think that's something that, for example, like Tier 2 Nations, you know, that kind of mentality of you can't get overwhelmed with the overarching sort of tournament. You can't get overwhelmed with, oh my goodness, we've got quarterfinals, semifinals. You've got to just say, right, 
who's in front of us, play them, get a result. Who's next, play them, get a result. And I think maybe even, you know, that some of the, the bigger sort of teams, your tournament favourites, sometimes you look at that a little bit like that as well. You know, you can't think too far ahead. You've got to just sort of tackle everything as they can. But I really like the part where he says there's emotion involved and there's no point in trying to pretend there isn't. So instead of sitting there saying, oh, we're not nervous or, you know, you're not allowed to be nervous, I really like the idea of, right, well, how are we feeling? If you're nervous, if you're not nervous, whatever, that's fine. As long as you can focus yourself, as long as you know what you need to do, you know, take on the, the emotions and use that. Um, in terms of, uh, he reflected on, on Samoa saying that uh, last weekend wasn't good enough. It was poor, but we have had a really good, open and honest review. We were very clear that some of the stuff wasn't good enough. Our any level, levels were poor, and that is inexcusable, to be completely honest. Would you rather it happened then than now? Yes. Are we going to learn from it? Absolutely. You'll see a very different England team on Sunday. Um, he then uh, spoke about uh, the, uh, the Fiji lineout. He said, uh, I think Fiji set piece as a whole has got a lot better. I think the way Portugal targeted their lineout in particular was something that was very interesting, and especially how they go about it. We have got some complete lineout picks in our team. Uh, George Price came in uh, in a complete noose. A lot of their um, conversations together are not necessarily fascinating, but they are going to become very important. Um, we trust in that plan, and we are going to try and put Fiji under pressure in that area. So very much targeting the lineout. Why wouldn't you? Uh, in terms of uh, the idea of um, England being public enemy number one, he said, we are very proud of the English support that we have. I think outside of England, I think people probably don't really like us too much, and we're okay with that. Myself, Billy, and Elliot come from a club, uh, Saracens, that aren't very well liked either. We don't mind being in that position. I think that is what Billy alluded to. I think that what we have done since being in France in terms of really building English support, we have been unbelievable. Um, we have had, that's been unbelievable, to be honest. In Lille last weekend, in particular, going around before the game and seeing the stadium, seeing white shirts in the stands, um, was breathtaking, to be honest. We are very proud of that. We love the support we have in France and at home. And outside of that, I don't think we're too bothered, uh, which is a good thing to have because they're not the most popular team. Um, uh, in terms of, uh, he was asked why supporters outside of England don't like the English team. He says, I don't know. It's not like we sit in meetings and talk about it as us against the world. I don't think that is what Billy was alluding to, but I think the main focus is making sure our fans are very proud of the work we are doing. Anything outside of that, we aren't too bothered about. Uh, and then a couple of quotes from Elliot Daly. Uh, in terms of, he was asked if they need to change the way they defend against Fiji. He says, uh, They've got a little bit more of an offload threat than other teams. We want to shut that down as much as possible. He says, uh, we looked at that Fiji game and we probably weren't where we wanted to be. And from that point, um, we made a conscious decision within the group to really up our defense, to really be that team that people are scared to attack against. Uh, in the board scheme, in the last five or six games of that five or six games, after that game, we've proved that. We just want to go one step further this weekend in that and actually beat Fiji, uh, who obviously they lost to in, in August. Uh, he then talked about his tackles. Um, he says, uh, the way we're pressing, the way we're getting off the uh, line lends itself to me being in the line a little bit more and being able to put in bigger shots. That's why, personally, he's been defending a lot better or he's a lot more physical. That's what's come out of the England camp. Um, you know, they seem pretty calm and it looks like they have addressed a lot of things. Do you think that uh, this is going to come good on the weekend? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. I'll chat to you all soon.